Hello mga bata! Happy Pentecost Sunday sa ating lahat! Ngayon ang araw na celebrate natin ang pagdating ng Banal na Spirito sa ating mga buhay. So, handa na ba kayong mag-enjoy kasama ko? So, tayong lahat ay tumayo, tayo'y umawit at sumayaw para sa Panginoon. Tara na! There's nothing worth more that could ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen. Of the sweetest of loves Where my heart becomes free And my shame is undone Your presence, Lord Holy Spirit, you are welcome here Come Tayong ngayon ay manalangin kasama ni Ate Brianna. Handa na ba kayo? Tara mga bata, sama-sama tayong manalangin. Lord, maraming salamat po sa araw na to. Binigyan niyo po kami ng panibagong araw. Lord, maraming salamat po sa aming Sunday School. At sana po ma-apply po namin iyon sa aming buhay. At Lord, sana po iligtas niyo po kami sa virus na ito. At sana po... Isang araw po, mal- makikita po namin na meron na pong cure, meron na pong gamot sa COVID-19. Lord, maram ito lang mo ang aking panalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Salamat Ate Brianna. O mga bata, handa na ba kayo ngayon sa ating kwento? Ang kwento natin ay ang pagdating ng banal na spirito sa mga disipulo at sa mga mananampalataya. Handa na ba kayo? Para tingnan ito. Tara na. Stories of the Bible. God sends the Holy Spirit. These are the apostles. Hello. 
they followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya! So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, do you hear this? They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Nah. Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you! He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, oh, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worshiped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Ano nga naranasan ng mga disipulo na bumaba sa kanila habang sila ay nananalangin? Tama! Hangin mula sa langit. Ano pa ang isang palatandaan na bumaba ang Espiritu sa kanila? Oo, apoy ang bumaba at nanahan sa kanila. Mula noon, sila ay napuspos ang banal na Espiritu at nagsalita ng iba't ibang wika. Maraming tao ang nagulat at namangha sa ginawa ng Diyos. Pero mula noon, sila ay naglingkod sa Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng paglilingkod sa kapwa, pagbabahagi ng lahat ng meron sila, pagtutulungan at paggawa ng iba-ibang mirakulo. Para sa ating art activity, handa ang mga sumusunod. Red, yellow, orange construction paper, glue, at gunting. So, handa na ba kayo mga bata para gawin ito? Tara na! Gawin natin ito. Una, gumupit ng dalawang pahaba sa red construction paper. Pagdikitin ng dulo para makabuo ng mahabang papel. Pangalawa, isukat ang papel sa inyong ulo ng pabilog at pagdikitin para makagawa ng headdress base. Pangatlo, gumuhit ng ugis apoy sa iba-ibang kulay na construction paper. Gawin ito ng may iba-ibang laki. Pangapat, gumpitin at pagdikitin ito. 
Panglima, hindi kita nga po'y sa may headdress base. Wala, tapos ang ating Holy Spirit headdress base. For our memory verse, i-memorize ito. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Acts 2.21 Memorize ito! Kaibigan, nag-enjoy ka ba sa ating Sunday School? <coughs> Oo! At ang mga bata na kasama natin ngayon, alam ko rin na nag-enjoy sila. Handa na ba kayo para manalangin? Tayong lahat ay manalangin. Panginoon, maraming salamat po sa araw na ito sa pinagkaloob niya sa amin para po kami makapag-Sunday School. Salamat po sa inyong banal na spirito na gumagabay sa amin sa bawat araw. Ito po ay aming panalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Sabihin natin sa kanila, Paalam! Paalam!